Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a viewer writing in. This is Abdul. He writes in and says, Hi, please can you tell me which speed light is best for me and the best speed light in general? He says, Notice I have a Nikon D5500. Thanks. Well, thanks for your question, Abdul. If we bounce over here to Nikon USA, we see that the on the speed light page, the speed lights we have listed now, current, are SB5000. That's the flagship they listed as. Uh, Radio controlled advanced wireless. Um, then we've got an advanced, that's the SB700. And then we've got the multimedia, which is the SB500, speed light and LED video light in one. And then the entry level, the SB300. So I really like the SB700. I always thought it was a great value when we had it placed against the 900. The sixes weren't bad too, but the 700, a lot of power, a lot of bang for your buck for the price. Now that we have the SB500 and it has a combination of the video light, I guess what you have to look at is the price you can get it for. Uh, I'd be tempted with the SB500. It's newer. It's multimedia. It's got the video light. But the SB700 is still a great performer. I would, If I was you, go between these two. Um, if you're looking for a Nikon branded one, there's also the Yong New and, and other brands of flashes out there that are actually pretty decent value bang for your buck that are less money, and especially if you want to get into a manual flash. Uh, I'll put some links below to those flashes as well. But I think what we're looking at at the moment is just the Nikon flashes. I think that's what you were getting at. So between the SB700, between the SB500 is ones I would choose if I was you for the um, 5500. I think the SB5000 is a little bit overkill. It's a flagship higher-end flash. You don't really need it. Um, I always actually loved using the SB700 when I was shooting weddings and uh, in events. I found them to be a great mix of value and performance uh, for the price. SB500, as I said, would tempt me now. If you're shooting some video, I would consider that as well. So those are the ones I would look at. Um, nothing wrong at all with the SB5000. I think it's probably just more than you need and a little bit more, more pricey. SB300, um, I would tend to stay away from it. It's not as versatile as a 500 or the 700. I think you just get more more use, more, more versatility, more performance, more options with the 700 or the 500. Definitely with the 500 and its LED video light built in. So that's what I would do. Let me throw it back to you guys. Which What would you do with the D5500? Which light would you go with? Uh, are you agreeing with me? It's between the 700 and the 500, depending on if you shoot video. Um, would you go all the way to the 5000 so you don't have to upgrade later if you're moving your camera system up? Or do you even think the 300 is still a good value? Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What would you use? What would you buy? Do you own one of these? Do you want to give us some feedback? Always great to hear from you guys. Other opinions when we're, our viewers are writing in and have questions helps round out the advice when they're going to make their purchasing decision. Once again, I will leave um, some links below to the off-brand camera flashes like the Yongnu that I think are, are some of the best ones that I have here and have used and have shot. Uh, you can check those out as well. Um, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.